The state got this land in 1974. Before that, it was owned by Weyerhaeuser Timber Company, and before that, Eureka Timber. That goes back a couple hundred years. A lot of the land here was used for a commercial timber operation. And in areas that were loblolly pine plantations, just based on the soil type and our what we call our relic longleaves that are left over, and the amount of tar kilns that we found on the park, we know there was tons of longleaf pine here, a few shortleaf pines, and so what we're going to do is go back and, and plant these areas with longleaf pine. Goose Creek is a little bit less than 1,700 acres, maybe 600 acres, 700 acres is wetlands, a pretty good percentage of the park. The main one is a, is a freshwater swamp, and that would be on the Palmetto Boardwalk. There's also marshes, freshwater and brackish. There's ephemeral pools. I mean, this place, the land is so low and the water table is so high, there's water everywhere. <laughs> wetlands are all over. But the main ones you're going to see is freshwater swamps and marshes and then the, the brackish marsh. We're right Right here in the EC. The best example and easiest one to get to is you go right out the back door and take a left and that leads you to our Palmetto Boardwalk. This whole area is outlined by the road to the west and it goes all the way to Mallard Creek to the east. That's all one big swamp and it's a really good place for people to walk down. There's Our boardwalk is, is basically like a long pier. It's about a half mile long. It's easy access for you know people in wheelchairs. It's a really good example of the type of wetlands we have in this area. It's actually undergoing a transition from a freshwater swamp to a marsh. A lot of the trees that are out there have died in the past 10 and 15 years and you're starting to see a lot more cattails in there, a lot more grasses since the overstory has been opened up with all those trees dying. The other good place to check is right here on the Flatty Creek Trail and you come out there's a little pier right here that goes out onto Flatty Creek and out there you're going to see different types of plants and animals but mainly plants because that's more brackish water right there at the mouth of the creek. Got a little bit of salinity in there most of the time, so you're getting different species. I've um, got Spartina grasses out there. Um, there's sawgrass, um, <clears throat> needle rush, stuff like that. And this area here is basically a peninsula. The Goose Creek Trail goes right along the edge of where the wetlands start. This whole block is about 300 acres. It's all wetlands in there. There's a few little islands out there. A lot of lolly pines are on. There's uh, some cedar trees scattered through there, but most of that is, is open and, and grassy. Tar Kiln Trail, when it comes down towards Mallard Creek, you'll see wetlands over um, to the north of you. If you go continue down Mallard Creek, there's a small pier right here. It's only 15 or 20 feet out into the water, um, but you can get a pretty good view of Mallard Creek and, and the plants and animal species down that way too. It's brackish down there, so there's really no telling what you might see depending on the wind direction and how much rainfall we've had. It could be totally fresh, could have you know a salinity of maybe 10 parts per thousand. The edges between wetlands and the drier areas, the pine forests and the hardwoods, those edges and the wetlands themselves just give us such a diversity of species and also just contribute to better water quality for the area here and downstream. Most common things you're going to see, especially walking down the boardwalk, is, is reptiles and amphibians. You know, maybe leopard frogs. I've got a pretty good population of spotted turtles. You know, those are sort of rare, so people like to come out here and see those. Snapping turtles red belly and banded water snakes. People that love or hate snakes, either one, it's a good place for them to go since you're on the boardwalk, you're elevated a couple of feet above the water. The other thing that people come out here looking for is our large mammals, especially the black bear, white-tailed deer, some of the more rare ones like the black bear or seeing coyotes and bobcats. You know, if you're out here early or late and out on the trail and being quiet, uh, you got a chance to see pretty much anything. It's a good place for people to come. You can see it's, it's like stepping back in time. Everything up and down the Pamlico River has been developed for the most part. And you can come here and especially in these areas that we're restoring down the road, hopefully it's going to look like it would have three or four hundred years ago. That would be a really neat perspective to be able to see the way this place used to be.